Hi, I'm Julian Unger. I am a neurologist and I practice medicine that is confined to disorders of the brain, spinal cord, peripheral nerve and muscle. But that means, in layman's terms, uh, diseases that produce pain, numbness, paralysis, um, headaches and um, disorders of balance. Mary, how are we doing? Uh, not good. What's going on? My left, the middle of my, like, right here, down to my left, left hip. Okay. Thanks. Here at the office, I'm employed as the medical assistant for Dr. Unger, and I am also the office manager for the neurology pain management aspect side of Dr. Unger. Okay, we'll have him in here shortly to talk to you. Um, I am the office assistant. Um, I normally just make the scheduling, also do like a lot of the filing and pretty much stuff like that. <laughs> Mickey, it's waiting in the phone. Oh, okay. Okay, and this is also yours too. Okay. There you go. Thank you. My role here is uh, what's called the END technician, which stands for Electro Neurodiagnostics. And my, basically, I shock people for a living. Uh, I test all the ner I can test any nerve in your body. Uh, we look for pinched nerves, damaged nerves, and actually some diseases which can affect the nerves. All right, so we're gonna set you up here. Push your thumb up and relax. Push it up. Okay. And relax. All right, chin up for me, please. Uh, my name is Patricia McNamara, and I do EEGs or electroencephalograms. It's kind of really a relaxing atmosphere. We joke around with each other. We're all the time got to joke. Everybody's just really nice and caring. I worked at other places uh, where we tended to run the people through like a mill. Um, hurry up, get the test done, crunch the numbers, get it, you know, as many people done as day as you can. I think that extra time that we take with the patients uh, really pays off. Uh, it gives Dr. Unger an edge over other doctors as far as uh, making diagnosis. And then you have been to the physical therapist at Jasper County Hospital. Right. Has that helped? Yeah. Keep, you know, keeps the muscle toned. And it stops it from atrophying, right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they cut me from here to about right here. Right. The original fall that precipitated this fracture, mm -hmm. um, did you fall because you slipped or because you suddenly uh, lost consciousness? I think I lost con consciousness. Yeah, that's I really right. do. Because afterwards, uh, it happened two, three other times after that. In listening to your problems here in our practice, uh, we hope to be able to reach an understanding of what is going on with your full participation in the healing process. It's no longer sufficient for a patient to present themselves to a doctor and say, here, give me the cure. What was it? Oh man, I thought this was it over here. <laughs> man, what is it doing up that high? Um, let me see. I did a sleep apnea test last night. Don't go to technology to explain your addiction, okay? Don't blame technology <laughs> or try to fool me. Well, my name is Kelly Hale. I work here in doing um, CAT scans. Being at a hospital, you're kind of a number almost. At least here we can take the time to know why you're here, why you're having the exam, and what we can do to help. We're gonna be taking tubes of spinal fluid to send them to the laboratory for a cell count, protein and glucose, gram stain and culture, oligoclonal bands and serum protein electrophoresis. Looking for about 10 different possible diseases that are causing this poor young lady's problems. 
Now, she's diabetic? Yes. Is she a naughty diabetic or a good diabetic? And now is good. Now is good. Uh -huh. yeah. She was so naughty. She was very naughty. Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Wayne Lake. I'm a nurse anesthetist. I provide sedation for Dr. Unger's patients. I arrange it so when he's doing his thing, you don't feel or remember what's going on. So it's more comfortable for you and a little less scary. That's what your spine looks like. Got a lot of arthritis here at L5. This practice affords me access to a whole range of patients, a whole range of socioeconomic groups, a whole range of uh, physical and mental types of people that come through the door. We see young kids with ADD, ADHD, seizure disorders, all the way up to octogenarians, and that really gives me um, a lot of encouragement, both in my own um, challenges and spiritual struggles and in terms of my feeling uh, that we are, we are contributing. Mm -hmm.